Hi, welcome to another episode of PSRE Science Made Simple. I'm Vanessa, and I'm a PSRE Science Specialist here at the Pig Lab. In this video, I'll be analyzing a past year examination question on the topic of plant cycle. I've also prepared this question for you to download for free by clicking a link in the description box below. So let's get started. Question 33. The diagram below shows tiny openings called stomata found mostly on the underside of the leaves. And the question is asking, which one of the following describes the function of the stomata? Let's first recall what is the function of the stomata. Stomata is where the exchange of gases takes place. Let's write this here. Exchange of gases. With this in mind, let's look at the options over here. First option, it says that the stomata traps sunlight to make food. Do the stomata trap sunlight to make food? No. Why doesn't the stomata trap sunlight for photosynthesis to make food? This is because stomata are tiny openings on the leaves and they are not cells. Stomata do not contain chloroplasts and are hence unable to trap sunlight. Therefore, stomata cannot carry out photosynthesis to make food. Instead, which part of the plant traps sunlight for the plant to make food? It is the chloroplast found inside the leaves. Let's have a look at option 2. The stomata transports water from the leaves to all parts of the plant. Is this true? No. Instead, which part of the plant transports water from the leaves to all parts of the plant? It is the water-carrying tubes which can be found in the stem. Therefore, option 2 is the function of the water-carrying tubes and not the stomata. Third option, stomata transports food made in the leaves to all parts of the plant. Is this the function of the stomata? No. Instead, which part of the plant helps to transport food made in the leaves to all parts of the plant? It is the food carrying tubes found in the stem which helps to transport food. Therefore, option 3 is not true as this is the function of the food carrying tubes. Lastly, option 4. Stomata takes in carbon dioxide from the surroundings for photosynthesis. Is this statement true? Yes. Remember, we talk about exchange of gases occurring at the stomata. What are some examples of gases being exchanged at the stomata? It is carbon dioxide, oxygen, and water vapor. So, the plant will take in carbon dioxide through its stomata for the process of photosynthesis to make food. Therefore, this statement is true and the correct answer should be 4. Thank you for watching and I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to check out more videos by us, do click on the links on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye!